In this section, we're going to be talking about mesh primitives. I can open my mesh pullout menu here, or here, I can find my mesh primitives. The simplest would be a plane. First corner, second corner, we have a mesh plane. We can also create a mesh box in the same way that we would create a polysurface box from the primitives menu here for Rhino. As you can see, the wireframe is much more complicated because each polygon, each mesh face, is represented. Mesh cylinder. Mesh cone. Again, I start with the diameter, then pick the end point, and of course, mesh sphere. Now, most of these have several different options in terms of their creation. The sphere, I can choose four point, around curve, tangent, three point, or diameter. Diameter is, of course, going to let me select the diameter first. Four point, first point, second point, third point, and then my fourth point has to occur in a different viewport. Three point, I can do in the same viewport first, second, and then squeeze the sphere between the two for the third point. Tangent and around curve. Let's draw a curve our sphere, click around curve, center of sphere is going to be locked to my curve. Tangent, we'll do first tangent curve, second tangent curve or radius, and there's a sphere tangent to those two curves that I just drew. A lot of these tools will have the same sort of options. As you can see with the cone, again, tangent, three-point, diameter. Vertical is actually going to create the cone perfectly vertically according to the top viewport, which means I need to move to a different one to finalize my cone. With the box, again, I have vertical or three-point, and this time I can choose center. We choose the center of the base, and this is controlling the base. And then the height, for that I go to my front viewport, there again is our box. So that's a quick overview of the creation of mesh primitives in Rhino 3.